It's my wife's birthday coming up and she has been leaving catalogs, jewelry catalogs all over the house. So I did what any guy would do. I bought her a magazine rack. <laughs> Have you ever asked an older couple how they met or for some secrets to their long marriage? This can be a ton of fun. Do it. They love it and you're gonna too, providing they don't begin to contradict or interrupt each other. No, darling, it wasn't a Tuesday. It was a Thursday. We weren't at that pizza joint at all. We drove for four hours in that ugly car you had with no heater and went skiing. Remember? Whoa. You fell off the ski lift and landed on your head. I sat with you during the coma. Well, recently on Laugh Again TV, I set out to tell you 40 reasons that Ramona and I have been married for 40 years, but I only had time for 20. So today, I'd like to continue that list, which included serious things like God's grace and silly things like once or twice I have said, you're right, we should have turned back there. So here we go. I will start with number 21, and I sense that many of you are out there taking notes. Please put comments down below. Let us know what you're taking down. I open jars and say, you loosened it, baby. Even though we both know that it was my manly muscles that opened the jar. Gratitude. We go looking for God's goodness. We even pray before meals, especially when I cook them. <laughs> I never buy her clothes without her present. She has to be right there. Why? The chances are one in 9,000 that I'll get her the right size, and the other 8,999 times she might be offended. <laughs> when we apologize, we do not employ the words but or if I offended you. We've learned to guard our hearts, mind our minds, and hold our tongues. I do not buy her jewelry, especially this. <laughs> Ooh, that is a ring and a half. The jewelry Ramona wants, I can't afford. The jewelry I can afford, she doesn't want. Like this. Okay, I'm kidding. I have bought her jewelry and she loves it. Sometimes marriage is just two people taking turns squashing down the trash beneath the sink, hoping the other one caves in and empties the bin. <laughs> I am learning to smarten up and be the one that empties the trash. If she wants the last chocolate or blueberry pancake, she gets it. Most nights, we sleep like two spoons in a drawer. We don't meet alone or publicly with a member of the opposite sex, or in an office without windows or an open door. We'd never climb Mount Everest alone, so we have been steeped in community all these years. We attend church together, unless we're hospitalized. I chose fantastic friends from the start who would have murdered me if I mistreated my wife. Now, murder's a strong word, I know, but there would have been serious repercussions. We never solve deep problems via text messages. I view my own selfishness more seriously than any of hers. I buy black underwear in bulk. I don't know why. <laughs> Once or twice she has said, here's the remote, let's watch something manly. Hey everybody, welcome to the End Out Show. Happy Monday. We've learned the fine art of appreciation. Once Ramona said, I know you can't fix cars like Paul Ibbotson. That's okay, honey. You can make waffles and they're good. Ah, desperation. Each night we pray together and it's really difficult to pray together when you're ticked off. Those prayers unite us before God. They boost transparency, humility, and they build our faith as we see prayers answered. And the 40th reason we've been married 40 years, we share a common purpose. Date nights are great. Leaving flirtatious messages on each other's voicemail is good. Make sure you dial correctly. But when we remember that we are here to love God and exalt his name together, we share the purpose for which we were created. And that's when things get truly awesome. I thank God for 40 years of his grace. We are so aware that he's been good to us through it all. And laughter helps too. Lately, my wife has learned the secret of getting me to do something. She simply suggests, I'm too old to do it. Hey, why don't you get down below there and put in some additions to the 40, would you? Have fun. I don't get the black underwear one, but it's funny. So.
black underwear conceals the fact that you've had skin marks. Yeah. And uh, involved in a guy buying his own underwear, I guess.